everybody. Marianne here, the Crotchety Clogger. Hope everybody's doing good today. I thought it is about time to do our third clog lesson, for those of you interested. Um, before we get to it, let me tell you what we're going to cover today, okay? We are going to um, do an introduction to the double step. In our past videos, uh, we in in lesson number two, we did an int we did the double toe, right? If you remember. Now here's what I'll do. I will put a link to the clog lesson number two somewhere. Uh, well, I'll try to put it somewhere in here. I, I don't know where it'll go, but I think it'll be somewhere around here. Anyway, if you haven't um, done that lesson two yet, do that one first because you'll need that to do the one we're doing today. Make sense? Okay. Oh, and also of most importance, you will want to do our first lesson, which was getting prepared to clog, getting warmed up. Uh, you know, getting those muscles ready for those joints and what they're going to be doing. And I will link that somewhere. Uh, I, I, and again, I, I'm technically challenged, but it'll be somewhere around in here somewhere. So, which, now, now warming up is important, folks. Don't mean to lecture you, but it is. You don't want to go cold cocked out there and not be ready to do it. At least your muscles say so, and your joints say so too. So, we will get to it in just a minute, but I thought I might show you something a little interesting that happened to me while I was teaching a clogging class the other day. Strangest thing that ever happened. Uh, and excuse the uh, dirtiness of my shoe. Uh, I know, it's dirty. Anyway, I was a clogging along, and I felt something funky on the bottom of my foot, and I thought, what in the world? So I turned my foot over and looked at it, and I didn't see anything unusual. I mean, you know, but it still felt funny. And then I looked a couple of feet away from me was part of the tap. Dead gum thing, dead gum thing. Look at there, just split right in half. Now, I'm curious, these are steel. I didn't think steel could break. If anybody clogs out there and happens to be watching this, would you please leave me a comment if something this strange has ever happened to you? Now, I have lost an entire tap come off. See, that happens all the time. But I've never seen one literally break in half. I mean, and it is sharp as a tack. Anyway, I, it's just a weird, strange thing that happened. I don't get it. But I'm going to have to find a cobbler, and I'm really, excuse me, hoping that the one I went to uh, to have those shoes made up is uh, still around, because he was really good. Okay, so on to lesson number three, we are going to do an intro to the double step, which is like 99.9% .9 of all clogging. You got to have a double step, right? Um, you don't have to. Well, I'll get into that in a minute. And we're also going to expand a little bit more on the double toe. We'll take care of that first, and we'll review the step rock step. So are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Are you? I hope everybody's done their warm up. So first, let's review a little bit about double toe. If you remember, we did, uh, sorry my head's cut off, I figure it's much more important for you to see my feet than it is my noggin. So anyhow, let's review a little bit about double toe. And if you remember, we want to make sure our ankle is as loose as the goose. Okay? Loosey, loosey, loosey. Right. So we're not making our ankle do it. Right? We're just kind of letting all that jelly wobble. Right? letting her shake. So then we touched on the double toe aspect of actually hitting the floor, which turned out with a 
scrub with the ball of our foot. It's kind of like just a little brush. Then on, if that ankle's really super loose, we will have the rebound effect that'll hit the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna try the other side. Again, that's just a, we're using the ball, whoa, excuse me. We're using the ball of the foot, right? Just the ball of the foot. And we're gonna let it just strike the floor, not a big deal. It's kind of like a little, uh, like a little brush, right? Then that rebound of the loose ankle will create the second sound, which is obviously why they call it double toe, because you use the ball of your foot and it makes two sounds, right? A double toe. I'm gonna try the other side again. Remember, we wanna do both sides. When it comes to dancing, any kind of dancing, as ambidextrous as you can be, the better. If we could dance all on one side, it'd be fine, but that'd be hard to do. Okay, now, we're gonna add something with that double toe, okay? Uh, let's see. Sometimes I have to think about how to explain this the proper way, the best way. Let's think about your knee for a second. <clears throat> Imagine that this area of your leg, from the knee down to your foot, imagine that is a rubber band, okay? And so we're gonna take that rubber band and we're gonna pull it taut and then let it go. Pull it taut, let it go. Pull it taut, let it go. I want you to imagine the same thing with your knee. So this instance, as we're doing that little brush with the ball of our foot, is the tautness of the rubber band. Then we're gonna let it go. You see how my knee lifted up? Excuse me. So I'm not actually going and staying out there tall. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it come. All right. Super important. Let's do the other side. We got to be ambidextrous. I'll turn a little better profile for you. So we're gonna let that knee react as well. And another reason we wanna do that is because if you actually did let that rubber band stay taut, okay, I, I don't have good knees, I don't. But when I do that and I let it stay taut, I feel it in my knee. It's like, oh, you know, it's tightening up in my knee. And, and we don't need that, we don't need that. We gotta let our joints be happy, right? Good. And there is a purpose for bringing that knee up. And the purpose is we're going to add a step right after it. Then we have what's known as the double toe step. Now that's a lot of syllables to have to take out, of you, you know, to spit out, especially when you're calling a dance, um, double toe step, you know, uh, but so what the cloggers over the years have done is they have taken the, the words double toe step and turned it into double step. It's just a whole lot easier. And I like to, well, I'll, let me show you first. Okay, so we're going to do a double toe and we're going to let that rubber band come right back up again. And then we're going to step. Okay. Now, what did that do? I know I'm taking these things like, nitty picky gritty, you know, but I like to explain in the most simplest ways how things occur. Anatomy, by the anatomy, <laughs> is that what I'm, <laughs> and by the actual technical way it happens. So anywho, so when we do that double toe and we take a step, well, what happened? I took a step and I changed weight. So when I refer to things as a step, that's what I mean, changing weight. Take a step, take a step, take a step, take a step, step, step. Okay, so what are we gonna do with the double toe step? We're gonna double toe. Our knee is reacting, it's coming back up, that rubber band. 
we take a step. Well, I'll be damned. It is the other foot's turn. A well, I missed a sound, didn't I? Let me try again. A double step. Right. A double step. Mm-hmm. A double step. A double step. A double step. Okay. Yeah? Kind of, sort of got the idea. I'm going to back up a little bit and talk about when I missed that sound. Um, most often, I'm so ingrained to do this, I don't miss the sound, but sometimes I do. And when that happens, I really like to use that example for you guys because you, unless you're like super duper lucky and you get all the sounds right off the, the bat, I mean, kudos to you. You know, not many people can get all their sounds right off the bat. That's okay. Okay, don't be discouraged. Typically, typically when you're first starting to learn double toe and double step, you will not get all three of those sounds. The two sounds from the double toe and the step. Well, let's break that down. Obviously, you're gonna get the third sound, which is the step, right? I mean, you know, that'd be hard not to get. <laughs> but, the second sound is the hardest. It really truly is. The first sound you might miss sometimes too, but the first sound and the third sound to me are the easiest to actually hear. So the first sound of the double toe, that little brush, the second sound is the reaction of the bounce of your ankle, and the third sound is the step. Well, trust me, the hardest one is that rebound of the ankle that second sound. If you miss it, it's okay. It's all right. It will come. I promise you. It will come if you keep working on keeping those ankles nice and fluid and loose. Okay? So let's keep on the going. Okay? That's, that's the best way to, to try it. Don't give up. You might have to do it a thousand times before you get all three sounds. It's okay. So we got a double step, a double step, a double step. I hope you guys can hear that. Now, my rhythm is, let me turn sideways so you can kind of see. My tempo and my rhythm is off. I'm doing that deliberately because I want you to think about all the sounds, right? or as many as you can get, okay? Just be sure that you're switching weight on the step. Yep, oh, you see, I missed the first sound. I got the second sound and I missed the first sound. So you never know when it's gonna happen. As long as you're loose, you're good. So, when you get the hang, you'll see You see the difference in what I'm doing? Instead of just stepping, which is fine, it kind of just doing the step keeps it a little easy and easier on your joints. And I clog like this a lot of times, trust me. I'm getting older and <laughs> it's hard for me to be as bouncy <laughs> as I used to be. But when you get the hang of that, I'm going to go ahead and keep on going for you guys. When you get the hang of that, start letting that step, after your double toes, start letting that step be a hop. You know what I mean? So it's like you're falling on your foot, more or less. I don't want to call it a hop as, in as much as think of it as the step being falling on your foot, right? So the double right? I'm just kind of falling. Now, have you noticed that it kind of felt like it was getting faster? Well, that's because if you start to fall on your foot, so to speak, 
you're not taking as much time between the double toe and the actual step to get to the floor. Does that make sense? It's like, right? And I want to remind you too that you want to always make sure that knee is reacting to the rebound, okay? Rather than this, right? Let that knee react. Now, if there's a lot of space between your double toe and your step, that's okay. If there's a lot of like a, a time between there, double step. Stay right there at that pace. Get used to it. Get used to it. I don't want anybody to feel like they got a rush into that, right? That'll come. That'll come. Just get used to the Step. Okay, let's see, just for fun, kicks and giggles, just for kicks and giggles, let's try it with some music, yes? Let's see, this might, okay, here's what we're going to do, we're going to double step and hold, double step and hold, double step and hold, here we go, double step. Sure. Let me talk to you a second about double step. <clears throat> Whew, how can I already be wore out? <laughs> uh, double steps probably, I don't want to discourage you. I really don't. Double step, like I said before, is 99.9% .9 of all clogging. Okay? But when you start off learning a double step, it's probably going to be the hardest thing. You're going to think, geez, I'm never going to get all these sounds out of my feet. Don't be discouraged. It will happen. I promise it will happen. It takes a little practice. Well, it takes a lot of practice. Quite frankly, it does. It takes a lot of practice. Um, but you know what? You can still keep on learning, even if you don't have all those sounds yet. And again, double step. We got three syllables, double step. And that's the three sounds you got, okay? First two are the double toe, and then the last is the step, okay? And it's really, uh, here's what I tell my students. I'm a little old for this, but you know. I don't ride a bike anymore. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, I don't ride a bike anymore. But I do remember when I was a kid. I had such a 
apprehension about learning how to ride a bike. I had that in blooming the, what do they call it, training wheels for the longest time. Till finally one day, my daddy was like, you need to take those things off. All my friends in the neighborhood's like, you're such a sissy. Take those things off your bike and start riding it like it's meant to be ridden. So I did. And you know what? It wasn't as hard as I thought. So as hard as it was to first learn how to ride a bike for me, it wasn't hard when I finally got it. And double steps, you'll find, are the, are the same. They really are. Okay, so don't get discouraged. Keep it up because I know you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, uh, before I leave you, let's touch on the step rock step that we did in lesson number two. Okay, put the chair over here out of the way. All right, step rock step. All right, so this is this step, if you remember in lesson number two, is all about changing weight. We got the rock on the ball of our foot and the step in the front, yeah? And then, in the last lesson, we went from that to putting a step in front of it. So, we ended up going step, rock, step. You see how we transfer weight? Step, rock, step. Uh-huh. Step, rock. just going to move around because this is one of those steps just like a double step it can take you places you can go from point A to point B or you can stay put in one place okay we want to be able to do it both ways because sometimes you never know you may have to clog across a room to get somewhere else or you may have to stay in a nice line along with the other cloggers right you never know so a step rock step I did a while ago. But listen, we have one and two. One and two. There's something missing between each one. I mean, there doesn't have to be, but there's a space in there, isn't there? One and two. One and two. right there yeah so what we what eventually what we're gonna do in that space where I was snapping we are going to add 
our double toe. Okay? Not a double step because we've already created the step. Check it. We got one and two. Now we're going to have, here's that space that I was snapping. We're going to put that little uh, loosey goosey kick. intended on going ahead let me back up <laughs> there we go I had not intended to actually show you a single basic today but we touched on it so don't don't worry about it you don't have to do all that I think the main thing to work on is keeping that ankle loose so that you ankles because we got two of them uh, keeping them loose so you can get that double toe right which is hard. I mean, it's hard when you start. And then comes the step, right? So we got a double step. And we got that knee react. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to double step, right? Trying to equate my arm with my leg. It gets a little hard sometimes. Uh, make sure that knee reacts to it so that you don't end up with the, with the, the little sloppy kick thing being straight and ouchy. Okay, uh, step, rock, step, double step. That's a lot to start with, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that it makes sense to you. Again, please leave me questions in the comment section or shoot me an email. I'll have my email in the description box. And remember, as a disclaimer, please talk to your doctor before starting any type of active program such as clogging or exercise program such as clogging okay and i will see you next time marianne here the crotchety clogger signing off looking forward to the next one guys thanks hey everybody marianne here the crotch